Hi, hi. Good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our last seminar for this semester. Great to see you all. Welcome, all. So great to see you all. Let us get started. This is the QR code. Please do register your attendance. And let's get started. So I'll try to wrap up uh, topics today as much as I can. So it is about assets uh, and creativity and entrepreneurship again today. Uh, but I, I will try to give a fresh take on these uh, as I uh, going to review the latest trends and the latest things that I have learned. You can hear me well, right? Uh, let me know if there is any issue, a frozen screen, or if you cannot hear me, okay? So welcome again to our last seminar for this semester. Uh, and let's get started. So, uh, as you can see, there are lots of memes. Uh, the lockdown is finishing. Uh, so it has already finished today. Uh, all the restaurants, cafes are open. Yay! So you can go to restaurants, cafes, shops as you wish. Uh, but uh, so the lockdown period is ending finally. We can have good hair, hair services, but also we need to adjust to this new period. You know, me trying to pull up together an outfit post quarantine after leaving my house for four months. So uh, it has been so long that we have been in the quarantine that now we need to adjust to this new life, new social life. But there were bigger changes as well. Uh, as we look at the bigger impacts of coronavirus and the pandemic lockdowns, uh, we can see it has deeper impacts. Uh, it has deeper impacts on organizations, communication, international governance, our new values, remote work, future of work, back to basics, uh, global economic crisis, and the end of traditional capitalism. So these were some of the new trends that are still happening. Uh, but also, we learned that our global societal systems are fragile, they are interconnected. And unfortunately, they are built on great capitalism and inequality. Therefore, we have started to question the ways of capitalism and business. Uh, and uh, we have seen that we need to take care of ourselves, our family. Uh, and we cannot trust our institutions. So it is your responsibility to take control of your life, achieve financial freedom, design your career, design your life, diversify your income and career projects, generate multiple streams of income and create resilience for yourself uh, and for your family. Try to be adaptive and to fragile. Learn about money, finance, investments, and learn about the power of compounding, how you will increase your savings, investments, and assets. So we are going through technological disruption as well. So technology is everywhere. We are living in a tsunami of data, and uh, careers are changing. So skills that are needed in careers are changing rapidly. Millennials are reaching the workforce. There is a lot of generational changes. Artificial intelligence and robotics are coming for many jobs, so there will be further disruption. Uh, and of course, we live in the gig economy, sharing economy. Jobs are, many jobs are vulnerable to automation. So you need to develop new skills in this new feature. I want you to open your notebook and think about your own skill. Try to go over these top 10 skills, future skills. And I want you to uh, evaluate yourself. 10 means perfect, one means terrible. So rate yourself from 10, 10 means perfect, one, terrible. So where are you? For each of these, please give yourself a score and write it down on your notebook. How do you see yourself in these skills? Please rate yourself.
So write down your scores. How do you evaluate yourself for these top 10 skills? Try to wrap it up, please. So which are the lowest ones? I want you to take some notes for yourself. How will you develop this? Let's say if you have any scores that are uh, lower than six, then please make a note to yourself. Six or five, lower than six or five, then please make a note to yourself. How would you increase them? What are some actions that you can take? Write them down in your notebook now. Okay, so think about the qualities of your perfect job. I want you to brainstorm on this for the next uh, one minute. What are you good at? What do you love doing? And what clients will pay you for? So please try to reflect on this in your notebook. Think about your strengths, your passions, and what can bring you money. Are there any activities that are at the intersection of these? Please reflect on this and take notes in your notebook. How can you find ideal job at the center of these? Your strengths, your passions, and um, your skill set, let's say, uh, money bringing skills. How can you find the ideal combination? Please come up with some ideas now. Try to come up with at least three ideas. Write them down now. And try to think about this more whenever you have a chance. Make a list of all your strengths. Make a list of all your passions, curiosities, hobbies. And then make a list of what you can make money for. And then look at the commonalities across this list. You can spend half an hour on, the, on this exercise uh, if you want to find the perfect combination. Try to spend more time on this exercise whenever you have a chance. Okay. So the next exercise, I want you to have a look at this map. This is a map on how to be productive. As you can see, there are multiple ways for productivity. What can you do for technology, clothes, hacks and habits, body, your body, your schedule, your food and your mind. So please follow these trajectories, these journeys. and then see if you are applying these or not. If you come across anything that is really original, insightful, take a note in your notebook. Let's say if you aren't doing any of these, then how can you do these? Make a note to yourself if you are neglecting any of these aspects, okay? So please have a look quickly and take notes in your notebook on how you can be more productive.
take notes as you go through each journey. Was there anything that surprised you in this map? Are you implementing these all? Or do you need to make some changes in your life? Please take a note. Try to wrap it up, please. Okay, here is the next exercise. I want you to look at these lists. There are 29 plus 40 ways to stay creative. Which ones are most appealing to you? Open your notebook and please write down at least uh, five ways that you like among these. Select five of them in total from these posters. So look at both posters. Which five of them do you think are the most useful? Write them down in your notebook. So have you chosen five things? Please write them down quickly. Was there anything surprising on this list? Are you neglecting any of these? Make a note for yourself. How would you apply these? Think about how you can apply these, some of these, especially your chosen five strategies. Which ones have you chosen and how will you apply these? Think about that. Maybe you can write a quick note for yourself on how to apply these. Okay, the next one, there are nine practices here for cultivating your creativity. As you can see here, clearing, centering, asking, holding, listening, cultivating, tending, creating, and adapting are these nine. So I want you to give yourself a score for each of them. 10, I do these perfectly. One, I do these terribly. I don't do them at all. So please rate yourself for each. How would you evaluate yourself? 10 is perfect, one is terrible. Please write down your scores in your notebook as you go through each of them. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, okay? You can interrupt, you can uh, t uh, write to the chat box as you wish, okay? So try to wrap up your scoring for each, please.
Let's wrap this up. Okay, the next one, I would like to remind you about your portfolio elements. Just very quickly, the first part, as you remember, is your job application. This should be at the top of your portfolio. The job I add, CV, cover letter, and your poster, whichever you choose, creative CV or vision board. These are at the top of your portfolio, okay? This is part one. Part two is asset creation project. Whether you choose 7i or the entrepreneurial proposal, you will choose one of them and implement them. This will be part two of your project, okay? So you'll choose either the asset creation uh, project, either uh, the 7i option or the entrepreneurial business proposal, okay? So you have two options, you will choose just one of them, 7i, or the entrepreneurial business proposal. And you can learn about the details of these on your module handbook, okay? The third part, you will attach two of the imagination experiments, creative challenges. These are listed in section 12 of your module handbook, go over them. You will choose just two of them and attach two of them, okay? In the fourth part, you will respond to these two questions. What are the top 10 things you learned from the lectures in this class? And what are the top 10 things you changed or improved in your life? Okay, so you come up with very short paragraphs for these top 10 things you learned as well as you changed. Okay, and that is part four. And the last part is seminar appendices. You will attach seven of your seminar activities. You can choose any of them, okay, including the optional ones. Remember the optional activities, I introduced a lot of options for you as well. You can choose any of them, okay. In total, you need to include seven seminar activities. And this will be the last part of your uh, portfolio, okay. Just as a reminder, please try to work on all the elements of your portfolio. So what will you do? Please work on five sections of your individual portfolio. Remember, this is due on August 26th. So you still have a lot of time. You have about three months to finish all these. So number one, you finish your job application portfolio. Number two, you finish your asset creation project, 7i or the entrepreneurial one. Number three, you will choose two creative adventures, write them up. Number four, you will respond to these top 10 things you learned as well as you changed in your life. And the last part is you will finish seven of the seminar activities, whichever you choose, and attach them, okay? And you will attach these in this order. So you will combine each of these elements into a Word file, okay? Uh, you, will have, you will be submitting just one Word file Everything will be in this one Word file, and you can uh, have five sections in it. All the sections should come in the correct order, okay? So put everything in your Word file, and then when you are done, you can turn it into a PDF, and you will submit this on Blackboard, okay? And the submission deadline will be August 26th, okay? August 26th, you will just submit everything as a Word file or a PDF file, okay? So if you have any questions, please email me. You can write emails to me or you can send your drafts, okay? And I, will, I can guide you, I can help you. So here is your checklist again. Job advertisement, CV, cover letter, poster, and then the asset creation project, and then two of your creative challenges, and then top 10 things you learned and changed, and then seven seminar activities, okay? So these are the elements in your portfolio, and all of these should be present, okay, in your portfolio. Is this clear? I think it is now clear. If you have any questions, you can always ask, okay? So please make sure you progress, make progress on these elements. Work on them small, through small steps, step by step. 
and try to improve them as much as you can. Okay. Now, here is the next exercise. This is called Designing Your Life Exercise. This is taken from this book, Designing Your Life. This is a bestseller book. It is based on an elective course at Stanford University. St at Stanford, they have a module called Designing Your Life, Build a Life That Works For You. This is one of the most popular electives at Stanford University. And this is the book of that module, okay? Uh, and according to the philosophy of this module, there is no single plan for your perfect plan for your life. There are many versions of you that exist right now and in the future. So you should say there are multiple great plans, great lives within myself. I get to choose which one I will build my way forward to the next one. So designers are problem solvers, right? You need to think like a designer. And your life is a wicked problem. Your career is a wicked problem. You need to solve it through design thinking. Because design thinking helps you to become more meaningful, joyful, and creative and productive. And remember, ideal life has surprise as well, adventure as well. So you need to design your life based on serendipity, surprise as well, adventures as well. So here is how you do it. Open your notebook. I want you to come up with three different life plans. These will be five-year plans. Okay, these will be five year plans. You will be designing three different lives. So, here is uh, the first one. For the first one, this is your default plan. Let's say you will graduate from UEA master's program. Yeah, and then what will you do in the next five years? Please try create your first plan. This will be your default plan. Plan number one, you can put plan number one on this. Do this quickly. Give it a title. This is your default plan. This is your real, um, let's say, current career plan. Okay? Give it a title. For example, let's look at the example here. Fulfilling ex expectations, becoming a corporate lawyer. So let's say this is your title. You give it a title. What will be the title of your career plan? Write it down. Okay? And then you plan these five years quickly. In the first year, I will finish law school, move to Boston. In the second year, I will uh, continue to uh, law school, etc. You take the bar exam and then start working at a law firm, get married, and then become an associate by a place in Boston. So this is uh, plan one, okay? So you come up with five-year plans quickly. Write them down. Take quick notes now as you go. Give it a title. What will be the title of your plan? So the title here is Fulfilling Expectations, Becoming a lo Corporate Lawyer. What will be the title of your own plan? Write it down. This is your default plan, okay? What will you do? Will you be applying for an internship in the UK, let's say, in London? Or will you go somewhere else? Quickly write down your uh, activities for five years. Try to come up with one activity for each year, at least one activity. And write them quickly, please. And after you are done, you will evaluate this plan, okay? Uh, do you have the resources? Do you like it? Are you confident about it? Is it coherent with your values? So ask yourself these questions and evaluate your plan. 100 means I totally have it. You know, I like it. I have the resources, etc. 
and zero means I, it's empty. Let's say I don't like it or I don't have the confidence. Is it, it is not coherent, etc. So please evaluate your plan on the basis of these four factors. Do you have the resources? Do you like it? Do you have the confidence? Is it coherent with your values, priorities? Please evaluate your plan after you create it. And you can also write down your questions about this plan. Let's say, do I want to take on debt? Will I find this low, low career fulfilling? Will my partner want to live in Boston, etc.? If there are any questions that comes to your mind, write them down quickly in the question section. Okay, let's wrap this up. Wrap up this plan, please. And remember, this is your number one plan, plan number one, which is your current plan. Of course, you can spend more time after this session is over. You can spend a bit of more time to go deeper in these plans, okay? But now I will guide you through the basics, okay? So the first life is the one you already live. You are already committed to, and we created it here, okay? So this, let's look at the second life. Now you will do this again. Think about your second life now. The second life is the one you would create if the opportunity to live the first life were suddenly gone. Imagine that this first life, life, let's say corporate lawyer job, career, it is suddenly gone. Okay? Imagine that this first life is suddenly gone. It is no longer possible. So you need to create a totally different life now. And this will be your second life, second career. So please create a title for your second career. Look at this example. This is an example for your second career. Let's say life as a New York City museum curator. This is a totally different career as you see. Give it another title. Life as a curator, let's say, museum curator. And then your goals are changing. What would be the new goals? Write them here. You can work at a non-profit, non apply to art history uh, in New York City, go to art history, move to New York, uh, grad school, get married, look for jobs at museums, trip to Italy, work at a museum, get promoted, have a kid, move to New York City. Yeah, so try to come up with your own activities for your second life. What will you be doing? What are some of your goals? And remember, this plan should be different from your first plan. So what would you do if your first life is gone? It is no longer possible. You need to come up with something different. Try to come up with something uh, different here. Maybe more creative. What could be? A different life, give it a title, identify some goals quickly, write them down, write a couple of them for now. For now, you can write two or three goals quickly.
and after you are done, please evaluate it. Do you have the resources? Do you like it? Do you have confidence? Is it coherent with your plans, values, priorities? You know, is this plan coherent with your life values, life priorities? So evaluate your plan. You can draw it quickly. And then if you have any questions regarding this plan, you can write them at the end. Will I make enough money? Is New York City too big, too busy for me? Let's say. Will I get tired of working at a museum? Etc. So if you have any concerns, questions, write them down. Don't forget to give it a title. And remember, this plan is totally different from your first life. You know, this is your second life. You can call it your second life. Try to wrap it up, please. Do it as much as you can for now. You can go deeper after our session, okay? Please try to wrap it for now. You get the idea, right? It is clear. By the way, you can also draw these. If you are comfortable with drawing, doodling, you can also draw it, draw your plan, okay? So let's go to your third life. Your third life, is the one you would live if money and image did not matter. So I want you to create a third life now. You can call it your third life, okay? Your third life is the one you would live if money and image did not matter. So you don't care about salary, you don't care about money, you don't care about your parents, society, what they will think of you, okay? What would you do then? So try to choose a life uh, out of your hobbies and passions. Don't worry about income, okay? Don't worry about salary. So this is the third plan, your third life. Call it your third life, give it a title. You can look at this example here, risking it all, the starving artist. So identify some goals again, give it a title. Identify some goals. For example, you can find a studio space, paint, paint full time, become a painter, find a part time job, job as a waitress, sell your paintings, rent a studio, go to Costa Rica, teach painting classes, etc. Yeah. So Write down your goals, give it a title quickly. What will you call this life? Give it a title. This is your third life, yeah? Try to come up with two to three goals, write them down for your third life. Remember, it doesn't matter, uh, money doesn't matter. Societal expectations, your parents, it doesn't matter. You only choose things that are valuable for you because you are interested, you are curious. You just want to try it out. And of course, this is a bit risky, right? So after you're done now, I want you to evaluate it again. Do you have the resources? Do you like it? Do you have confidence? Is it coherent? Write them down. Evaluate this life. And if you have any questions regarding this plan, write them down again.
Okay, please try to wrap it, wrap it up. Any questions about this design thinking, design your career exercise? Uh, what have we done? In life one, uh, this is your default current life, yeah? In the second life, uh, if your first life is suddenly gone, can you think of something radically different? That was your second life. And your third life is if money and image did not matter. Okay, you don't worry about money or image. So how would your life change? So these are three different scenarios, right? Three different life scenarios. Three different lives. You can have three totally different lives. You can design three different possible lives for yourself, three different possible careers for yourself. You can see each of lives is different from one another. Each of these lives is totally different. So what you can do is the, using design thinking, you can combine the best elements of what you like in these three lives and incorporate them into your current life. That's the beauty of this. You know, you don't have to choose either or. You don't have to choose life one, life two, or life three. You can come up with a genius plan that incorporates elements, your favorite elements from each of these lives. Life one, what do you like about life one? Life two, what do you love about life two? And life three, what do you love about life three? Maybe you can. Uh, conduct life tree, let's say, you can enact it on your weekends or in the evenings. So you can be creative, you can be resourceful, you can actively design, manage your life on the basis of these principles. And as you have three different lives, this gives you a lot of creativity, a lot of resourcefulness. You become more reflective, you uh, mix and match. It is like rem remixing your life. You are creating, you are the artist, right? You are the hero of your life. You are the artist. You can design your life as it makes sense to you, okay? So it is a very powerful model in that regard. So try to think about the implications of this. And if you want to learn more, you can learn more from this book, Designing Your Life book, okay? So I included uh, a lot of resources, uh, 10 lessons from the world's uh, 10 most innovative companies. You can uh, learn about it. Adam Grant has a TED talk on original thinkers. You can uh, watch that TED talk. And there is another learning adventure. I want you to do it now. Open your notebook. This is a checkup checklist. You will go over each domain in your life right now. So you can see the domains here. You will give a score. 10 is highest, one is lowest. First, give a score for each of them. Evaluate yourself. And then what is going well? Do you have some overall comments? You can write them in the, uh, in the second column. And then in the third column, how can you improve? Can you come up with some action points? Then you can write them in the third column, okay? So you will do this for each area of your life. Let's start doing it. You will start with family and home, your family life, your home, house life. What is your score? Maximum can be 10, okay? Evaluate it. And then what is going well in this domain? Make a quick note. And how can you improve it? So make some quick notes. You will continue with the uh, second one afterwards. Career and work. What is your score? Again, do the same thing. Your career and work. The third domain is health and fitness. How do you evaluate yourself? Education and learning, number four. 
how do you evaluate yourself and what is going well how can you improve education and learning number five is money and finances number six leisure and hobbies number seven love and relationships number eight travel exploration uh, that should be love right because of the pandemic we couldn't travel a lot at all arts and creativity values and spirituality reading and writing community and volunteering intimacy nature and environment if there are others you can specify as well okay so these are the domains give yourself quick scores and then interpret each domain quickly so this is a very valuable tool i created this to help you consult yourself you, you you can consult yourself you can provide guidance mentoring to yourself using this checklist if there are any areas that are low you have scored lower let's say six or lower in er any any of these areas then take action how can you improve come up with actions okay if your score is six or lower then make sure you come up with a plan in the third column come up with an action and write it down so please take notes as you go through these sections make some quick notes for yourself and give your give yourself a score for each domain Okay, please continue this exercise uh, whenever you can. It is a very useful exercise. There is another aspect of this. These are about your wishes and aspirations. So these are different domains of your life, okay? Career and professional goals, education and learning, financial goals, family and relationships, creativity, and well-being. So for each domain, write down all your wishes, all your aspirations what are your wishes or aspirations for going forward please do this at home whenever you can okay so make a long list of wishes all your wishes make them as specific as possible the more you can write these wishes in your notebook in detail the more you will be able to articulate these wishes the more you can work on them so please make sure that you are very clear on these wishes make sure you visualize them in your brain you visualize them you feel them uh, you try to come up with detailed visions for each of these domains and make them as detailed as possible okay the more clear your visions wishes are the more successful you will be in each domain okay so please do this at home okay in the last section i provide you a lot of resources please go over these uh, the first one is my five biggest lessons that i i learned from last year this is a master class on how to be super creative and super productive you can click on the link in your slides and learn more i provide a master class please make sure you read it uh, remember you will work on your assets you will really think about your digital asset creation journey you will build your content empire and how do you do that you follow these five steps choose your platforms start now 
start small, create every day, establish your system, yeah? And then you improve, improvise, learn, get better at doing this. And then you innovate, focus on authenticity, quality, solve some problems, build your fan base, use your imagination, uh, become multidisciplinary, and then uh, you build some products, services, add value, and monetize this, and try to save, and turn it into investments and assets for the long term. Okay, so you will need to follow these five steps. Uh, please keep a diary on how you will be following these five steps. For example, you might say, I will design 300 entrepreneur success steps on Instagram. I will create these Instagram infographics on making money. Start doing it every day and do it for 300 days, whatever you do, okay? So remember, you will need to create 300 pieces of content, whatever you do to be successful, okay? So how do you create your own creative assets on the internet? Again, I, read, I have written a guide for you on this. Please click on this link and read this article. It's a great article giving you guidance on how to do that. Remember, you need to create smart content. These are the seven elements of smart content. Uh, it should be for your ideal customer. It should be helpful, entertaining, entertaining. It should be created consistently. You should spread quickly, easily. All content should be linked holistically. You should include a call to action and it must be measurable. So you should come up with a product and monetize this okay, for the long term. So what makes a good story? You need to think about this. What makes your story authentic and powerful? Look at these elements to learn more about this. So if you come up with a good story, then you have the chance to create your content empire. Remember that. Wherever you are, you can do this. Again, click on the link to learn more. Let's say you build your YouTube channel. Right now, YouTube revenues are much bigger than traditional television. So you see NBC, Fox, CBS, they are five, six, seven billion, right? But YouTube is 15 billion. It is much bigger. And monthly active YouTube users are 2.3 billion. And it is growing really fast. So you can build your own personal media, personal channel on YouTube. It is really easy. It takes a couple of minutes. Do it. And remember, YouTube's ad revenue is almost matching Netflix. So YouTube is growing really fast. It will grow even faster. So you can compete with Netflix if you come up with your own YouTube channel because you are a content creator. Remember that. So how will you create a successful YouTube channel? Uh, have a look at these. You can also Google this. There are lots of resources on how to do that. And you can do the same on TikTok. So it is a matter of adding value. So here is a sample of this. For example, this is a uh, TikTok channel on Chinese TikTok and widely popular. <laughs> So he's a designer. Out of cheap materials, he creates fashion.
So you don't need money to have high fashion. That's the concept, right? You can learn more. Or uh, you can do this with beloved ones. For example, Michael Lee. Contame de espalda. So you can come up with dances. These are sisters, brothers. They are doing this as a family on TikTok. This is Philippines. Wipe it down. Wipe. Wipe. Wipe it down. And we did it on a one night stand. Hello. So think about how you will come up with engaging content and collaborate with others. Uh, there are content houses for this. Remember, I talked about Sway House and I talked about Hype House. In the UK, there is a content house as well. There, there are content houses as well. Uh, and, and this content house is in Kent. So it's a new content house. So you can also create your own content house on TikTok or on Instagram or on YouTube. So uh, I included some guidance on TikTok, what happens on TikTok and how you can be successful on TikTok. Have a look at these resources and look at the success strategies of these celebrities. These are top 50 uh, social media celebrities in the world. These are the most successful ones. Ronaldo is number one, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez, and you see it some others, right? Taylor Swift, Kylie Jenner, and all the usual suspects. But there are new entrants from social media as well. Many of these uh, celebrities are social media celebrities. Let's look at highest earners on Instagram. Ronaldo is number one. Messi is number two, and then we see some other celebrities. So, for example, Ronaldo makes more money from Instagram than soccer. You see? So, he makes $34 million from Juventus, uh, he made in 2019, whereas he made uh, much more from just Instagram posts. So this is a changing world, everyone. You need to create your own uh, social media following to be successful in this era. Or you need to use your imagination to come up with new things. For example, The Hunger Games. Uh, this is a novel, right? It is one of the best sellers. Uh, and it has been turned into movies. So it creates 1.6 billion worldwide, just the movies. And they created this just based on the imagination. You know, you can also use your imagination to create things that people will follow. For example, Stranger Things. I'm following this, uh, and Netflix is coming up with season four now, right? Season four will come up very soon. So it is all based on curiosity. You can create your own stories and publish them. And these will be also turned into uh, TV series or movies, right? It is all based on your imagination. It's all based on your content. How do you do that? You need to be authentic, blog about it, create your own content, design it well, uh, reach your followers. So you need to be a great storyteller. Think about how you can do that. How can you be a good storyteller? I included some resources on this as well. Why? Because storytelling positively influences our brain. We get dopamine from it. And we, we, we empathize with the heroes. So we all need stories. We learn best through stories and storytelling. So you need to create your own storytelling in your life as well. And you need to nourish your brain. Have a look at this uh, map to learn more about your brain. Okay. As I finish, I will uh, share two examples. Okay. Uh, so the first one 
he promised himself to create digital art every day and he created these images for 13 years and he created an image every day he never broke the chain that means between these 13 years he created 5000 images and he combined all of these images into one file and he called it every days the first 5000 days and this collage it was sold as a non-fungible token at christie's how much 69 million dollars and who is this this artist is people or as he is called mike okay So, so you can also create your own art using this strategy. Uh, remember, this artist created content for 13 years. Every day he created something, every day, right? And this is his final work. There are 5,000 images here, 5,000 of them. And the artist is here, Mike Winkelmann. And he's called Beeple. And what happened? His artwork was sold for $69 million, right? But he worked on this artwork for 13 years and he worked on it every day. Remember that. He worked. So this is a marathon, everyone. You need to create your own marathon so that you can disrupt the world. You, you need to think of this as a long term journey okay so you can disrupt uh, the world if you use your creativity every day like this artist did people is a great example of them so here's another example at night many people see darkness not this guy he sees opportunities he is an astrophotographer he lives in finland he spent photographing the universe every night and he did this for 12 years, 12 years. And he created a panoramic uh, masterpiece, uh, which includes 20 million stars in it. It is a masterpiece. Who is he? Uh, Matt Savinio. So he tweeted this. He worked every night in Finland and captured all these images from his home. And he connected them all and he created this masterpiece milky way mosaic which is amazing really and it is the segment of the milky way so visualize what you would like to create in 10 years what will be your vision for example i want to write 2000 articles on medium or five as well as five books and i will create 2000 youtube videos in 10, 10 years and I will make at least $1 million in 10 years. So what will you make? Try to come up with that plan, okay? That's the most important thing. So I include more resources on how to do this. I include resources on creativity, entrepreneurship, strategies on how to do that. Uh, they are very clear. Just follow your slides, okay? You can just follow your slides and learn more about these. All the things are visual resources. So you can learn uh, from these billionaires as well. Okay, so I will stop here. Uh, I will finish with this Indian song. It is a lockdown song that was widely popular. Uh, I'll stop here. This is a viral TikTok video. Um, thank you so much for your contributions to this module. This has been a wonderful, enjoyable, fascinating module. And this is my well, uh, farewell cartoon for you. Thank you so much for all of your work and best luck in your careers and lives. Let us keep in touch. I will see you in our lecture. Okay. So we can always keep in touch. Thank you so much. And I will see you uh, next Thursday. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Good evening.